Hello everybody and welcome to the Geeky Heaven channel. I am Glenn, aka the Geeky Heaven, here with May's box. It's delayed box. It's arrived on the 8th of June, so a little bit delayed. May's box for my geek box. Oh yeah. The geeky mystery box delivered to your door. Did have a slight bit of confusion with last month's box where it sent me two and I thought I might this that might be May's, but this is definitely May's box. It just had a little bit of a delay to it. No themes. I don't I think they've stopped the themes. They haven't sent any notifications out or said anything, but I'm sure they've just stopped the themes. They're just doing a monthly box now. Uh prices come in at £19.99 a month if you want a monthly subscription. And then it's nineteen forty nine for a three month subscription, eighteen ninety nine for a six month, and seventeen ninety nine for a twelve month. Prices on screen, prices and referral links, affiliate links, all that stuff in the description down below. It, this feels slightly weighty. It can't be another mug. Surely it can't be. I, I, I'm, I'm not too. I'm okay with mugs in mystery boxes. But I've been getting a lot of mugs recently. Like every box seems to be a mug. I, I'm, I'm going to start joining Joe Warlock and start smashing some mugs soon. <laughs> Let's see what we got in this month's box. So, once I knock everything over, <laughs> cut the tape, open the box. This, wait, wait bubble wrap. This what we're gonna see. T-shirt on top. T-shirt on top. Ooh, we got black and orange. I have no idea what this is yet. Wait, is it? I don't know. Is it some sort of transformer? It looks like some sort of transformer. Let's see what this is. I do not know what this is. I don't think I know what this is. 702. Some sort of either a robot or an armored man sniffing a rose with what looks like the Atari symbol behind him, but I don't think it is. Maybe it is? I am really unsure. I like the design. I like the colors. It's nice. The orange, white, and the black t shirt. It's nice. I like that. It's a nice t shirt. I just don't know what that's from. I'm probably going to be kicking myself when someone explains to me. I'll be like, oh no, is that what it is? Comment down below. Let me know what that's from. <laughs> but, oh, we're back with the coins. So, ah, oh, Sea of Thieves. I had a Sea of Thieves coin before. So, this is a silver one. I haven't had a silver one. I had the original one, a bronzy one. This is collectible coins. They used to do these in almost every box. So this is limited to 9,995 worldwide, individually numbered, embossed on both sides, distressed edging, silver edition. So they come inside a little pack inside there, and you have your number on the back of it. So it could be like 1006, for example. I think that's just the number they printed on the picture. It's not actually my number. My number will be in there. Pirates for all eternity on one side. Very, very shiny. And the other side is the standard little skull thing they use for Sea of Thieves. Is anyone here still playing Sea of Thieves? I was waiting to see what's happening with it and I saw it was a very, very empty world to start off with. Then they released some DLC for it and not many people mentioned anything about it so I kind of just forgot about it. <laughs> it was a great idea. I loved the concept of it but no one really spoke about it much. Next item. So looks like there's, there's only two items in here now. So I'm gonna get the Funko Pop out. Cause there's a pop and it is a special edition Hopper Biohazard suit. That is really awesome. I like that. I really like this because I haven't got this one. And Hopper is one of my favorite characters from Stranger Things. I do really like him in there. Um, I won't go to desk cam, but I will get him out of the box quickly. So we can have a closer look. Here he is, out of the box. Oh, look at the detail on this guy. Let me get my face out of the way so 
try not to get so much glare on there. I really like the fact that he's got a little glass, <laughs> he's inside a little glass thing. Little glass thing. The detail on this is good, I like the pipe at the back there. And as it's Stranger Things, full licensing, it's not a bobblehead. I like Funko Pops that are not bobbleheads. That's a nice little figure. I do like the little details on him, his gun in his hand, his weapon. I like the mask that he's got that it's not just open that you can see. You can actually, it is thick. That's really, really awesome that is. I remember like some of the early Funko Pops when, they, when, when characters had glasses, for example, they would, there was no glasses in them. It was just like a round shape or the shape of the glasses. But I like this with the, like the plexi glass thing on it. That is really awesome. He will be going back in a box to, to be an inbox collector. That's what I am. The last item, I've, I've just read what it is. Let's see what, see what it is. Let me take it out of this cellophane because it's really noisy. Recycling for later. The Joker Poker set. Joker Poker. So this says it is a set 120 poker chips, a deck of cards, and dealer chip. It's a nice little tin as well. So it comes with a very nice tin. There is a picture on the back that shows you what's in there. The cards look nice. Let's open this up and have a look. I, I don't really play cards. A lot of sub boxes send out like packs of cards normally. This is a big. I don't even know how much this would cost actually. Uh, oh, let's put a little tiny little bit of cell tape on these things. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Open it up. The Joker Poker set. So. These are pretty cool. They've all got the same image on them, they're different colours though, but they've all got an image of the Joker on it. Laughing Joker. <laughs> uh, that's nice, there's one dealer chip, and the rest are all different coloured chips. We get back in there. Then there is the Joker Poker pack of cards. Should we open this up as well? This will probably be this will probably be a pack of cards that I'll keep. I do like this. I I'm never going to play it, to be honest with you. I probably won't open them up. You can tell <laughs> by the picture. They, they look like really, very, very, really, very, very, really. My grandma is on point today. <laughs> they look like really nice cards. You can see they're black and green. And I like the colour black and green. I'm going to open them up, actually, because I do like the black and green. If that's what they are, then that's not bad. If they turn out to be just normal cards, Without anything fancy, then I'll be a bit disappointed. Let's get the cell phone off. Is it coming off? Is it glued on? The cell phone feels like it's glued on at some point, at some certain points of this. What about over there? I don't recycling afterwards. Let's finally get into the box. <laughs> and. Have a look at these. Oh yeah, these are nice. I like these. Ah, so it's like green and a purpley pink Joker, and the other side is the Joker himself. Yeah, these are nice. I really like the design of these. I like. Basically, two different colours. There is. Oh, that's the Joker card itself. The Joker card. The Joker is the Joker. Does that does make sense? <laughs> so there's two different colours. There's green, and there's like the pinky purple. Different designs. That's nice. That's a nice set of cards. I yeah, I'm glad I open this now because I will. I'll keep this as my main set of cards. If ever I play cards, I, mean, I play Magic the Gathering. Love Magic the Gathering. It's a geeky collectible card game. Like the artwork on it. I don't really know any ordinary card games to play with poker chips, but I'm sure I can find something. I'm sure I do like it though. And if not, I can always put the cards to one side and make use of this tin for something. Is this tin shut? I just shut it the wrong way. Very nice tin. Very nice set. That is, however, the 
end of the box. So let's have a quick recap, talk about the items, talk about the prices, and we'll wrap this up. The really awesome designed, I still don't know what it is, awesome designed and nice looking t-shirt. The Sea of Thieves collectible coin. Stranger Things Hopper in Biohazard Suit Special Edition Funko Pop. The Joker Poker Chip Set. Chip Set? The Joker Poker Set. And that is all the items in this month's box. So, let's talk items. T-shirt, I still don't know what it is. I do like the T-shirt. It's not an official T-shirt. It is an exclusive. So, exclusives, I'll give anything from... When I break exclusive, anything from eight to twelve pounds. Say, this one is a very nice design. I will give this one. I don't know what it is. I'll give it a ten pound mark. Standard T-shirt price ten pound. Stranger Things Hopper Biohazard Suit. I really like that. It's special edition, so we're going to say ten pound. If it's if it was a if it was a standard Funko Pop, I'll give it about a five pound mark. Anything between anything between five to fifteen pound, depending on the Funko Pop, we'll go ten pound for this one. That's twenty pound. That's the value of the box straight away. Then we got the Sea of Thieves collectible coins. These, a lot of people like these, and if you don't like them, you can always resell them. I haven't sold any of mine. I've kept a tell I sold a duplicate one I got, but I've kept a lot of mine. You can always sell these. These go for like ten to fifteen pound. They do, and then the Joker poker set. I don't know what that would go for. I don't. I don't know what pack of cards go for. I don't know what poker chips cost. It's not really a geeky thing that I'm into, so. I would say it's a very, very nice set. I would say it probably would go for £10, I would say. Maybe more expensive, maybe £15. I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below how much you think this is or how much you can find it for. It's very, very nice looking, but I've got a feeling that it's probably... I'm probably overpricing this. It's probably something that we all pick up from like one of the bargain stores in the UK, like a B&M bargains for like £5 or something. Maybe four or five pounds, maybe I'm wrong. But... The value is absolutely there. They've done a good box. May seems to have been a good box. A good box seems to be a good month for sub box companies. And I'm just glad that I got my May box. <laughs> it was late, but I got it. My Geek Box, this is a good box. Thumbs up. I really like this box. Even though I say I don't play poker or card games, it's still a very nice item. It is very it's definitely a geeky item, it is. The Joker, it's relatable, new Joker movie coming up. I'm impressed. But I want to know your thoughts on this box. What do you think? Comments down below. Leave me all your comments about this. If you enjoyed my video, feel free to leave me a thumbs up. If not, you can just leave me a thumbs down. <laughs> and if you're new here, why not subscribe down below. Whilst you're there, smash that bell icon so you can be notified each and every time I upload. And if you want to help support my channel, you can go over and check out my Patreon. Link in the description down below. Become a Patreon from as little as $1 a month. Getting you access to Patreon-only videos and once I reach that first Patreon goal, like goal, I will be doing monthly giveaways over on Patreon site. But I'm Geeky Heathen. As always, much love. And until next time, stay awesome.